I even trained once. A tournament, huh? Oh boy, oh boy, these are gonna take fucking forever. Hopefully these aren't too complicated. Alright, it's time to get my function into combat mode. Call me Traveler, because I'd be Ethan on these movies. Well, I mean, can I not choose from my archive? It doesn't fucking matter. I don't even read what the hell they do. I should read what my fungi do because uh, kind of like a retard. Oh, fun guys. What the fuck is even happening? Destroy him. Okay. I need not do that. I need to actually know what the hell these things fucking do. <laughs> okay. It's a healer. Water bomb, leash of the hydro, deals damage to targets, and heals fun guys in the party. Okay, so my first one's a. Okay. Bongo Head's a healer. Cool it. Large of salt, ice cooker, it deals crowd damage to the opponent like this fast. That's my next one. Rock wall. Card hat. Leaves up high, initiates a devastating plunge attack, does physical damage. Physical damage. Target strike by Geo, drain around the Geo element. Now what I ask you to do. Spurs other fungi increase attack of all fungi in the team separate. Okay, I see what my team's comp is. Here's your target. Oh. I get it. Mark a shield up. Yeah, fuck him up. I will do more damage. Come on, boys. Put him on the ground. Okay, okay. Now I understand the dynamics of funky combat. <laughs> Hydro. 
Alright, now cry on his ass. Yeah. Just gotta attack him up. Need a hydro up so he freezes ass. Give me an icicle. Heavy hitter. I don't want to waste a physical attack, but so much damage with me. Oh my god, he sent his ass packing. Oh Jesus. No fun here. Send them packing again, Snow Hard Up. Finish them off, everyone. Damage, bro. It's finished, bro. Holy Jesus, these challenges are gonna take that long. Oh my god, that's four minutes for one challenge. Yo. No way we're completing this. He took four minutes for one challenge. I mean, fuck it, we'll do it, but like... Four for one confirms my suspicion that this is gonna be, uh... A long, long fight. Look well. Comments about what I'll give it skill. Goes out on all goes all out to fire six consecutive wind grass bullets. Overgrowth, heals fungus and lowest HP though. Sword can't pause wild grass bullets. Bendro, huh? Alright, supporting Bongo Cat. Our main fire team. High impact. So blah blah blah. Pyro Searing Wave. Shield Breaker. Actually, focus okay, fire, break his shield. Yeah! Hit him with the fire. Burn him. Fuck it. Ground pot everything in your boy. Ah, what a clean hit. Burn him. Come on, guys. Cheesy clap, bro. These Pokemon are deadly. This team comp seems good. I will confirm this one. Freeze him. He's down for the count. Dendro, clean it up. We are ground pounds and everything sky high. Ah. 
Freeze him. God damn, you see that tail whip? Andrew, unload. Bang, 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 bang. Clean it up. Freeze him. You got music, bro? You're gonna be bangaranga. Physical damage. Hit everyone in the radius. <laughs> Finish the fucking one. Put him down, Dendro. Multiple shots ought to put him out of commission. God. Damn, we are a slaughterhouse on wheels. Open with fire. Clean up with physical damage. Shield break. Dendro hits. Again, fire. Destroy the shield. Not sure ice is a good choice to bring out your ice. No. Oh, my brother. Through me. Capable of fighting. Knock him off his feet. Does it work on him? By the gods. Fire him. Gotta keep melting his ass. Oh. My brother's in arms. Apply Hydra. Heal all the brothers. Lost of mushroom. Don't rely on the power of Dendro to fly. Heavy power power. Maybe the cryo shield was a terrible idea. I should have empowered my other ones. And you live, laugh, love, and love. Shatter. There we go. Another barrage site. Bullet seed that fucker. The shield's back up. We got nothing to break it. We have to rely on physical damage. That's not very good. Maybe Dendro can punch a hole in it. Trying to tell I can get it up. I don't sink correctly. We're using physical. This fire got fucking dome. That's nothing, bro. Good God. Again. Physical. Finish him off with a bullet suit. That went awfully, bro. God damn. Took even longer than the last one. Which we do not have time for, I don't know. Oh, that disgusting noise in the background. I don't know what the fuck this training is going to be.
Electro, Pyro, Hydro. As always. How these mushrooms do? Meltdown. Holds enemies and opponents before unleashing a blaze explosion. <coughs> You're our primary weapon, I can already tell. Wind vortex fires will continue pulls enemies in a wide area. Oh, well, I already see what the fuck this team's gonna be. The Electro will provide overload. Dendro can work against fire. Why is there a for the cause? What about the Cryo Demon? Hold it! Hold it! Let's see what all of them can do. Unleash that firestorm. Let's see what a crowd bombardment can do. Priority target animo. Drop it. Ooh, if you get two at the same time, oh my god. Man. How much damage is this place? Yeah. Oh, we're on nuclear holocaust. I thought I was gonna swallow it. Bro, did you just send that dude packing? So we go down targets. Negative, we got another target. Clean it up. All right. Spectres, Dendro, and Electro. This team should theoretically work with a fucking nuclear fashion. <laughs> With an animal on here. Eh, the animal can't pull spectres. So we rely heavily on Pyro's fucking vortex of flaming death. Pyro, get in there and do a dash step. Cut through multiple views. Look at that. I'm done. No! The specters do a lot of damage. Clean it up! Heal your brothers in arms. We're scattered. Is he not dead? Pull them all in. I already. Damn, bro. We're hitting the thing with overload and it's just laughing at us. Dendro, nail that son of a bitch. Lost two, man. Just a hydro bombardment. Same looking clean. I lost a brother in arms. Alright. What are we fighting? Cryo? Fill up on the fire. We're about to unleash hell on these sons of bitches. Gotta kill his ads first. 
Escort team. It was on a hydro attack. Get that vaporize. Dentro's a great single target execution unit. Hit it with that fire. Tenjo, single target assassination, rapid fire machine gun, nested and dusted. Pull everything for like this. Actually, we might be able to burn him down without even needing to uh, kill his ass. No, we can't. There's no way. Oh, we did it. Yeah, so, yeah fuck it. Hit him with a blaze attack. Do that all the way. Pull him in. All of them. One by one, we'll finish them off. Dendro, assassinate this poor Conrian dickhead. Jess is creased. This is gonna be a pain in my fucking ass. I am not fighting anything near Aqua. And we still have another... How many more do we gotta do? I was looking at it. 5, 10... 15... 25... 30... 35... 40... I hope to god they take like less time, like if not we're just have to cut our losses. <laughs> just pyro slimes? an offensive electro. I got some good targets. Come on. I don't want to see the thunderous cries. Oh, okay, that's one. <laughs> Charge on through. Jesus, bro. That fucking header. He just rips through. Give me a hydro unleash. Cool, these freaks. It only works when they're uh, charged. I don't know what you're targeting, but engaged. Focus your attack to kill that thing. Your comrades, your brothers in arms will fight with you. 
Easy, bro. Call it the slime slaughtering zone. Cryo, huh? Rework the team. <laughs> Double fire. Dendro, of course. Not think about it now. Knock uh, him off. Put our healer in. You know what? Let's test you out. What's you in for support? What do you do? And we're gonna need single target assassination. Give that animal death. Oh, it is a sword. Oh, he soars. Oh, he's amazing. Bro. Is he not dead yet? Focus on second target. Pull it up. Now hit it. Now focus fire its corpse. To the wrath of the empire. Okay, hold on, focus fire. We are focusing on the target. Pull in. Blow up. Hang on. Hit it with fire. Now you swirl him. Dendro. Finish it with burning. Oh yeah, it's gamer time. Hit it with the hellfire. Dead roll might be my favorite, bro. Fucking cannon shots, bro. Geo, huh? We need a <laughs> cocktail to fight this thing. Immediately, we need shield piercer. Geo vision. I have an idea. I love Dendro. Uh, Jupiter doesn't have a geo engine, do they? No, they don't. So, what does he do? I keep using him. Oh my god, I don't know why we're smashing. Okay. Lower geo energy. I can swirl all elements. I can need I need four of these things together. This four will allow me to do a fucking super swirl. I got all elements on him at once and then swirl all that shit together to go a nuclear holocaust of death. But you gotta be good. I know what the cryo electro. I'm not gonna swirl it. He's pyro. So, no swirling anyone. Forgot they absorb elements. That's what their special is. Okay. Electro, finish the fight. <laughs> Dago Shibu. Oh, that's the Yeah. Alright. 
we are steadily running out of time. Okay. We're not gonna do defense. We just can't. We are so cut on time. We need to do the tournament. Like, need to. If it was just this, then sure, yeah. Earth card. What the fuck's a ruined Drake Earth card? Well, they don't absorb anything. So. Hellish Desire! God damn, bro. What the hell was that? Lowers that mental resistance. See you now, fuck boy. Oh, right, hang on. Lock on, boys. Make sure you're all tagged. Look at that combo. Some pyro or fire. Whatever's going on, swirl it. Heal the boys and put this fucker in his grave. <laughs> It's like Electro. Spire. When his opponent HP falls under 15%, a large amount of HP will be restored to them. Pulls people, right? Yeah. Fuck it, numb nuts. You know what the hydro based death bomb? <laughs> We're getting ourselves back. Unless we do critical amount of damage, instantaneous. It'd be funny as fuck if we do. Give me an animal vortex. Let's put some hydro in this bitch. Barber shroom. Oh, that fucking uh, electro. That iron is a demon. Oh my. God, is he? This is like a fucking hell of a team con. He literally is the best shroom. Hands down, bar cock and ball nine. The fucking pyro suck one is absolutely legendary. I hope to God that's what Daya's ability is. Drop the. Yeah, let's drop the fucking uh, animal one. This me fucking only and cheese.
Bang, 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 bang. <laughs> and a version core. Oh, I'll like burning all mine down today. Knock him on his ass, hard hat. Spin him. Read him like a leaf boy. No one dies in this battlefield. Though they fight so close, those virgin cores are fucking deadly. Why not teach him the power of Dendro? Stand by. Lower his own up to resistance. I think he forgot what he's fighting. I play this so like suboptimally, but hey, it's fun. Lock him on his ass before he gets the shield again. Ooh. Dendro, finish the fight with the barrage. See you in hell, Hilichu, where you belong. Okay. We are not doing defense. Uh, look at that, dude. We will do defense. Some other time. Like, when we have time left in this fucking turn. I've done three levels with that. Holy jeez. Jeez Louise, man. Sound like Drake. Just have a nigga say jeez Louise. Combat portion is done. Well, we gotta do the fucking debut, man. Because we have... How much time left? One hour and 47 minutes. Akbalia. Alright. Because I know how bad this is gonna be. Let's get it so we don't forget and we run out of time and like we lose everything. Sixty. Interesting. This is killing time, but uh, better do it now than later. Okay, continue the story. I don't like to upload this as a uh, part two, and I don't want to watch this either. A baby fucking dog. But all right, there's nothing to commentate on, bro. How am I gonna commentate a fucking combat battle, bro? No wonder is Yai here for fucking Scarabussy? I imagine so. Looks like the qualifiers are about to kick off. A Hingen's giving an opening speech. Time to kill right whatever enemies we fight in the battle. Ladies and gentlemen. The Niluth Pala Cup Beast Tamers Tournament is about to begin. I genuinely hope that everyone has fun in the competition and wish you all the very best of luck. At the same time, I ask that you bear in mind that this tournament is held in the spirit of friendly and fair competition. By all means, give everything you've got, but respect your opponents at the same time. Don't lose your head. This is just a sport. Not a fight to the death. We'll see about that. I have spent a considerable amount of time in my life searching for a way for humans and dangerous creatures to coexist. The wisdom orbs you now hold in your hands 
show me that it is indeed possible. I sincerely hope that this event will show the potential of beast taming to a wider audience. People need a way to avoid conflict and stay safe in the wild. And beast taming can help us achieve this. Oh, so that's why Ohingan is putting his whole fortune into this. What an inspiring goal. But Caltelia, on the other hand... Uh, who cares? Thank you for your speech, Mr. Elhingen. I'd like to add a few words of my own, if I may. Welcome, Beast Tamers! The wisdom orbs in your hands are a truly groundbreaking invention, representing the culmination of centuries of technological well, yes, innovation at the Academia. Actually, there are nine extraordinary technical breakthroughs that make them so exciting. Cautilia, everyone's eager to try them out for themselves. There's no need to delve into all the details right now. Uh, oh, uh, Bro, no one gives a shit about your Pokemon works. Well, we just like I'll to use them. I'll explain everything to you all when I get the chance. I'm sure you'll get a sense of just how advanced this technology is when you start using it in the arena. Trust your wisdom orbs and have fun in the competition. What a total nerd! Doesn't he know there's a time and place to talk tech? Ugh. Good thing Alhingen has enough situational awareness for the both of them. Otherwise, this could have dragged on for a long time. Ooh, the qualifiers have officially started! It's time to face our first opponent! Let's murder some Sumerian fucking people. Fucking Zaylo! The legendary General Mahamatra himself. Ace Fungus. Magic Shroom. I do have a free dash. It's full of useful things. Read that yourself, bro. Oh, I don't get my fucking. Oh, I already know it. This team be bussing, bussing. Glad we got our fucking Pikachu. <laughs> well, how'd they set up an arena like this? What the fuck is this? Bro, Pokemon battle! Huh. Didn't know they put the bar for entry so low. Huh? Let's go! Mm -hmm. This is gonna be over so fast. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Actual you Pokemon intro. Oh, please have the screen the flash to black and white. These are teeny tiny potatoes. Bungle heads I mean. Maze, bro. Fuck this man. Pick him up. Ground pound. Everyone, fight together. Focus fine, whatever the hell that thing is. Kill it with the power of Dendro. Apply some water to this area. I don't want my men suffering. Jump up. Dash, dash. That fire one needs to go. Or it versions all of us. It's okay. We still got this. No, you do not, bro. This challenge is over. Finish it off, Dendra. Put that thing back in hell where it belongs. Jump in. What a weak opponent. Pathetic. Eliminated first. One piece. Swift fighting style fail. Everyone, retreat now. Swift doesn't work. You need power. <laughs> Joke gameplay. Another soul crushed in the heart of our battle. Our next victim will be slaughtered just as easily. Fighting is unlike anything else we've ever done before! You're damn and it's right. super fun! Hell yeah. That beast tamer and her fungi work together pretty well. Almost as well as the two of us! This picture will be Silver Supernova Slap. Uh, Paimon slapping uh, people. That's not what Paimon meant! Paimon just wanted to say that our opponent seems to have developed her own fighting style unique to her and her fungus. 
Pung Guy combo. Oh, it'd be great if we were more tightly in sync with Bongo Head. Imagine if we could just look at him and he'd know exactly what to do. That would be amazing. Man, that's our actual Pokemon. That's why it's so important to develop close connections with your teammates. It's Jai Miko. And Layla. How's it going for you so far? Losing. Twirly Whirly and the other Shroom Buddies were way stronger than I thought. Before I knew it, they'd knock the opposition out. When I got back to the arena, I saw Miss Yai's opponent running away like they'd just seen a ghost. Miss Yai said she needed to find you and discuss something, so I came with her. Little Layla here breezed through her first battle. Soka won hers by a hair's breadth, but mine was rather disappointing. My opponent was a frightful bore. You slaughtered him. Well, it's only just started after all. It'd be a bit of a crazy tournament if everyone in the qualifiers was a prize fighter. Well, if the but tournaments work, anyway, everyone in the qualifiers well, is a prize fighter. That's how they that. rise up the ranks. You're getting smarter, aren't you, Paimon? I thought you'd need me to remind you, but no, you said it yourself. Our opponents will only get stronger as the tournament proceeds, so we mustn't let our guard down. Why don't we keep up the momentum from our respective first round victories? Let's give our fungi some special training to strengthen our bonds with them. Great idea! Stay one step ahead of the game! No, I don't got time for this, bro. The view here is wonderful. It smells of the rainforest here, and we're far enough away that no one will bother us. Balls. Let's have some fun with our fungi friends, then take a break to sample some of Sumeru's delectable snacks. Snacky Yay! Snack time! Snack time! Jesus. Wait a second. Aren't we here for training, though? Or do you put something in the snacks that'll improve our bonds with our fungi? Crack. Even if I had that kind of power, I wouldn't dream of abusing it. I assure you, the dried fruits and pastries I brought are quite ordinary. All the way from Perhaps you thought <laughs> I'd planned an intensive training session for you? <laughs> that won't be necessary. On the contrary, when you're constantly on edge, you miss quite a lot of important things. The last training session you put for us Since was the hell. Goal here is to and they were going to ride in training session? How do the fucking fight? We should treat them as friends and create happy memories with them. Eating and having fun together are vital components of friendship training. It's friendship training. Imagine if all raise the traveler IVs? ever thought about was making you stronger, forcing you to build rock-hard muscles just to watch you send mitochondrials flying. Would you gladly comply? Buff mom, can you imagine Paimon out here whooping niggas' asses? Why are you looking at Paimon like that? Oh, don't you dare try anything like that! Or Paimon will... Paimon will ignore you for three days! No! See, you and he have a very strong bond, but that doesn't mean you'd be happy for him to inflict a rigorous physical training regimen on you. Do you really think the fungi would be any more receptive when they've only just met you? Yes. Huh. Well, when you put it like that... Miss Yai is right. Also, I'm curious to see what would happen if the wisdom orb is turned off or malfunctions. I wonder if the fungi will stay tamed or not. No, they probably kill you. Yeah, it well, takes time for friends to get to here. know each other properly and come to trust each other. Hey, bro. I can't always rely on this gizmo to communicate with Twirly Whirly. It makes me feel like I'm giving orders. You want your Pokemon huh, outside its yes. Pokeball? True Ow. love cannot be controlled by external forces. Little Layla's belief is a classic one. But that would mean giving up control over the fungi. Uh, is that really a good idea? No, but... Go ahead and give it a try, little Layla. Don't worry, the little ones and I will be here <coughs> to keep you safe. Everyone here's a vision wheel there. Okay. No. Is everyone ready? Gotcha. I'm... I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Watch me. Look at that! Now that it's turned off, Twirly Whirly's moving around on its own again. But it's not attacking people nearby like it did before. Perhaps the Wisdom Orb's technology doesn't allow people to control the fungi at all. 
Maybe it simply adjusts the fungi's temperaments, calming them down so that they're capable of forming connections with people. Fair if this theory is correct, little Layla's wish may yet come true. Once you've gotten to know each other, you'll be able to freely communicate without using the wisdom orb. Both. Miku's right. Forget fancy schmancy technology. The real breakthrough here is the power of friendship. Jeez. Of I'll course. do my best. I want to learn all about there you go, guys. So what likes take that dislikes, line. Then buy lots of snacks from the almighty merchant. Almighty merchant. We're the ones to get to know the real bongo head, too. Let's try deactivating our wisdom orb, shall we? Tenta squid. Hello, creature. What's the wisdom orb not doing anything? Traveler, Paimon, Miss Yai, do you and your shrimp buddies want to join us? I think Twirly wants to play in the water over there. You'd better be careful. Don't get too close to Blitzara when you're knee deep in the water, or you might find yourself on the receiving end of a very unique lower leg massage. <laughs> yeah, all right, but we're been drowning. Right, Paimon almost forgot. Should we let Bongo Head try something different? We could climb a tree together and see the view from the top. Yeah, all right. You two go ahead. We want Bongo Head to try something different. Oh, okay. Meet you back here later then. Have fun in the water with your thick ass fucking Bongo clothes. Head, we can do whatever you want to do. Just <laughs> why isn't it responding? Hmm, guess Paimon will have to try using delicious treats to win its affection. Help! Help me! Who the hell is that? Something's not right. Why are these fungi so aggressive? Did you hear that? It sounds like someone's calling for help. Hurry, let's go check. Bro. What child is getting ripped apart by I kind of fungi like demons? Smoke this fucking thing. On oh, she's already got her ass kicked off. We are so not finishing this fucking class. Like, no. No fucking way. What's going on? What are you doing here? What did you attack kids? Yeah, you saved the children. I happened to be nearby. The children were mimicking what they'd seen the contestants doing and ended up getting surrounded by wild fungi. Fortunately, I heard the commotion and got here in time to save them. That's so dangerous. Why are they trying to approach wild fungi without a wisdom orb? No retards. It's hardly their fault. No, it is. I was almost drawn in by the fungi's cute appearance once, too. Luckily, I remembered my family's stern warnings and the suffering that previous generations once endured. Oh. So I kept my distance. People never used to be under any illusion about how dangerous the fungi can be. But this Neelit Paula cup is changing people's perceptions, and now they're letting their guard down against the fungi. A consequence that Elhingen failed to foresee. No, I don't really think about this. Is kind putting of just... an end to this debacle. First chance I get. The Wisdom Orb is the perfect tool for exterminating fungi on a large scale. And once I win the tournament, they'll be mine to do with as I please. What are you talking about, Hania? Exterminating fungi? Not in front of Pyro One! Don't you care about its feelings? You're taking part in the tournament too, aren't you? You even taught us a few tips and tricks. You're clearly enjoying the event. I'm quite certain Pyro One would back me up if it was capable of realizing the past mistakes of its kind. But regrettably, it's just a pawn controlled by a gadget. It will never understand human sentiments. As for why I taught you guys a few things, don't you realize? I saw your potential, and I wanted you to help me reach my goals. Yet here you are now, pleading the fungi's case. You've gotten too deep in this absurd game. Looks like Golden Comet and Silver Companion don't deserve such a stellar reputation after all. Yeah, you're kind of just an idiot, like those kids. Hey! Don't bother, Paimon. 
Ooh, She's a bit my. of a pig headed idiot. Such a standout personality, and with the perfect dose of obstinacy. I sense dramatic events just waiting to unfold. No, we might not. Nico, Leila. Oh, you heard the cries for help too, huh? What cries for help? We were just talking about her as it happens. Little Layla told me that Hania gave you some guidance when you first entered the tournament. But after you met Layla, she very abruptly left. Looking at it now, she seems to be a classic case of a wrong path character. Blames the many for the mistakes of a few and seeks to wipe them all out of existence. Generalizing. Stupid. She takes the Rope. wrong path because in her eyes, it is the most effective and sensible method of achieving her goal. Seems like she had some bad experience with fungi. <laughs> Maybe some tentacles. Fungi can definitely be aggressive and damage their environment, but some research also suggests that they're only acting in accordance with their nature, just like any other wild animals. Oh, she's got metallic nails, bro. She rip your face. The fungi off. have existed for a long time. No one knows what the ecological implications for the rainforest would be if they all got killed off suddenly. Horrific. Right! I mean, we let's take a genius to that one out. Measures. No matter what Hania has been through, we can't let her do this just because she wants to. Then don't let her you win. You intend to stop her achieving victory? I can't say I didn't expect that response from you. But I hear she's one of the favorites to win this tournament. Are you prepared to face such a formidable opponent? We're literally god killers, and she's a human. That's what you brought us here for, right? To get acquainted with our fungi friends so we can cooperate better with them? Wait, did you know all this was gonna happen? <laughs> it would be rather boring if I had arranged every last detail in advance. The chance encounter between you and Hania came as quite a pleasant surprise. What if Yamiko can see Today's the training ends here. The qualifiers should be over now. We should go and find out what to expect in the later stages. Whooping your fucking writer's ass, that's for sure. Is every stage gonna be like the qualifiers and then. That's gonna be annoying as fuck if it's gonna be like qualify story, qualify story, qualify story. That might There are a lot of people over there. Are they looking for something? You people are in the tournament. We already whooped your ass. I heard that the organizers set up loads of message boards for the audience to leave comments and interact with each other. It sounds like a good way to encourage discussion about the tournament. Talk to everyone. I wonder if people will talk about me and Trilly Whirly. Oh, if only I could use this experience in one of my papers somehow. You got twelve. Kind of you got drills up here the stars, eh? You always need a ton of information to write a paper, and you can't always get the info you need. But this time, you're the one providing yourself with the information. You can write whatever you want. That's a nice idea, Paimon. But I'm from the Ritawahis, Darshan. The kind of information I'm gathering now would only be of any use to someone in the Amorita, Darshan. Yeah, you can provide yeah someone else could use it. To alert to students. Maybe sell it to the highest bidder. <coughs> no, royalties. Church royalties. Mora is a secondary consideration. But I could make it a fair trade by getting the Amorita students to read through some advanced papers for me and figure out what Trilly Whirly's kind likes. What fungus like? If I can narrow Ed the things? search, it'll make my life a whole lot easier. Living things to stop the life out. I won't have to buy hundreds of different things and get Trilly Whirly to try them all. Just thinking about it makes me want to pass out. Thinking hard makes you want to pass Layla, out? that's an amazing idea! Jesus. Please, get them to look into what Bongo Head likes, too! Uh, I'll do my best. When I get back, I'll write a letter and send it to the Immorta. Right on it. Something's Little not one. right here. The pairings for the remaining 32 are out. Damn. The eyes here. 
motherfucking match right here. What's going on? Huh? We'll be facing Soka next. Oh, I've been looking forward to this a lot. He's absolutely going to get her ass so excited about? Aren't you worried that we'll knock your budding author out of the competition? If that happens, Yai Publishing House's nice little journey in Sumeru will come to a very abrupt end. Oh, please. Do your worst. I never asked Soka to win in the first place. Besides, maybe suffering a humiliating defeat will give her the epiphany she so desperately needs. Yeah. After all, a life with no obstacles tends to narrow the mind. People end up believing that only they are on the right path. Sometimes, obstacles are more valuable than smooth sailing. As you wish, Chief Editor. Excellent. Ah, I'm looking forward to the next round. I'll await your good news. Let's slaughter. Slaughter again, because you know I'm immortal. Balls to you!